Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Milky and today we're going to be watching a grocery haul from my bestie Chantelle Marie, foodie, beauty, whatever she wishes to go by nowadays. Now this video is called You Will Never Believe How Much All This Food Costs Super Cheap Groceries in Kuwait which is weird because we just did a video of Chantel doing a grocery haul for a housewife that doesn't cook because according to her, it's cheaper to eat out. So I'm I'm getting mixed messages, bestie. I'm confused. I'm confuzzled. But I'm sure she will clear it all up for me. She always does. So grab a snack, grab a beverage, and let's watch together, shall we? I am going to give you a little warning that this video will probably have a lot of pauses because I may not be a math girly, but I do like to do a little bit of addition. And I like to see what she's really getting. Is she getting value for her buck? So there's gonna be math, there's gonna be pauses. If you would like to raw dog Chantel, where you don't see my face popping up and talking, please do so. But if you are going to go in raw, please wear protection and leave a like. Why not? Leave a comment. Let me know if you like the video. Let me know if you didn't like it. I enjoy being degraded. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> well, hello there. Hi, Chantel. Did you know that you can request a private video from me made <gasps> just I? for you that you can keep forever and ever? Really? Yep, that's right. I can wish you or a loved one a happy birthday or even give you a pep talk. I'm in Kuwait, so if you want a cameo at a specific location like a nice beach or a mall, just let me know. Get yours today and don't delay. Don't delay. For those wondering, my plaque is Foodie Beauty. It's not the everyday Miriam one. I'm so glad she decided to clear this up for the very extremely worried and concerned viewers that were worried and upset and in a tiffy over the fact that her plaque might say everyday Miriam. I know I was worried. I could barely sleep. I, I couldn't get through the day without knowing. So thank you so much, Chantel, for easing that worry for me. I appreciate you. Spoilers! God, Chantel. Do you know about keeping us on our toes? I don't want the spoilers. <laughs> Hello, Hi. guys! Welcome back to another Look at video. That cunty I have lipstick. Another grocery haul for oh, you. serving. Now, the last grocery haul I did, I did claim that I was not going to. I was cook. worried. Yes. But I changed my mind, which I do a lot, very frequently, and I decided that it's probably best to cook. Um, Salad did bring up a good point that, you know, with cooking, I get to control how much salt and... I think Salah's watching my video. Hi! You are being such a loving son, making sure your mummy doesn't spend all your inheritance money on takeout. You know, use cleaner oils and stuff like that. So... Um, we just basically know what we're putting mm -hmm. in our food when we cook it. And I can also, um, also make some cooking content for uh -huh. you guys as well. So, yeah. So I made a meal plan and She's I got bitter. some groceries that I'm going to need. Now, this is going to be, I guess, a three-part grocery haul you saw. Already part one. This is part okay. two. And I have part three coming up tomorrow. We're going to go to the actual grocery store. Surely by the time part three comes out, we've used the groceries from part one and two. So it's just a fresh new grocery haul. I've never had to do a trilogy of grocery shopping. Hunger Games who? So, um, and the reason is, is that different places have different things on sale. So we are actually smart shopping, which is something that is a new concept to me in life. And I have to say, I wish I did it a lot sooner. Smart shopping is a new concept for a 50-year-old woman. I guess you can teach an old hog dog new tricks. So, all right. So there's this online grocery store every Tuesday and Wednesday. They have a sale on Fun. certain okay, fruits and vegetables. So usually for fruits and vegetables, um, I like to wait for the sale. Which I don't always do, though, but um, this is the best place for that. And the the vegetables that you're going to see here are um, 95 fills, which is like 75 cents or something like that. Like, Love that. Great. Very, very, very cheap. So, all right, let's get to, let's get to. So, 
I got, some of them have a max limit, so I got the max limit on everything. <laughs> um, I'm so ready for this new healthy lifestyle journey, cooking at home, doing the things that she promised God in her time of need that she would do. So I'm so glad that she's making good on her promise. Tomatoes. I think this is a Kay. kg. So I have two kgs of two kgs of tomatoes with about nine ish in each bag which is 18 tomatoes and i did some research because i am sad with no life and tomatoes roughly have a shelf life of two to three days when they're unrefrigerated possibly 10 days in the fridge so she would have to be consuming like two whole tomatoes a day to get through these before they go bad if she properly stores them which she always does i'm sure Those never go to waste here. I always eat those. So yeah. I'm so glad they never go to waste because you have 18 of them. Um, I got some potato buns. Yum. What's a potato bun? Uh, we have some lemons. 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 36 lemons. lines. <sighs> Sorry, I just had a flashback of the 50 plus limes she bought that one time. It's a, uh, it's a sore subject for me. So that was two bags of lemons with roughly six in each, which is 12 lemons. So with a shelf life of roughly a week if left on the counter or about a month if they're air sealed within the fridge. But we know Chantelle, she likes to leave them out on a bowl on the counter. So I'm sure the fruit flies will enjoy their meal. You know what they say, when life gives you lemons, give them to the fruit fly. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, check your blood sugar. <laughs> We have a head of lettuce. Lovely. Romaine, really nice looking. Bessie, you look sad. Head of she lettuce. looks despondent. Now, I got a couple of these small bags of. Oh, she's smiling. Um, barbecue flavor. Because it's funny faces. There we I've go. I've never seen these in Canada, but I've tried them. Why would you see them in Canada? You're in Kuwait, babe. Are we confused? Did the. Did the lemon sugar go to your head? We're in, we're in Kuwait. Kuwait. Oh. <laughs> I love how much her whole overall demeanor changes when the food has MSG and sodium in it. It's great. It truly is. The barbecue chips are making her wet. And I love that for her. Um, yeah, 143 calories per bag. And they're really good. I don't okay. know. I like them. You like everything. And these are heartbreakers. These are ketchup flavor heartbreakers. Heartbreakers Chips. or heart stoppers. They're like shaped Am like I a right? heart. All right. Love that. And that's pretty much all the snacks I got. I got. No more snacks. Okay. Four. Put a pin in that. Bags of eggplant. I love eggplant. I might pick. Sorry. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Come again? <laughs> Four. Four bags of eggplant. There's roughly about two in each bag. So that's eight eggplants with a shelf life. Oh. The sun. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> oh no. I do believe the heavens are about to open up. So apologies. I'm now filming from a bunker, I guess. Ignore that. It's fine. Four bags of eggplants with two eggplants in each bag. That's eight eggplants with a shelf life of five to seven days, which is like an eggplant a day, which I don't think is doable. The only time I have ever seen Chantelle Marie with anything resembling an eggplant within her mouth was when she was tasting Nader's infected eggplant. Can't wait to see all the meals that she's going to cook with this, I'm sure. This video was filmed seven days ago, which means officially the eggplants are dead. They are past their shelf life. So I'm sure there were tons of eggplant themed dishes on her account during this time. I'm sure there was lots.
my bestie would never let me down. I'm sure the eggplants aren't rotting in a bowl somewhere. The fruit flies would have a feast. But they're not going to have a feast because she didn't do that. She definitely cooked with them. I'm definitely making baba definitely ganoush. Making so baba ganoush. for a baba ganoush recipe. And also I want to try to make some kind of like okay. lasagna with plants. I got two things of carrots. Perfect. Okay, two bags of carrots. It seems to be roughly five carrots in each. So that's about ten large carrots which have a shelf life of ooh, a month in the fridge if properly stored. So I'm sure she'll get right on that. We don't want them to go to waste. For me and Howie. Oh, Howie. I got three bags of red onions. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, three, <laughs> three bags of red onions. There seems to be roughly about six-ish in each bag, which is 18 red onions onions and red onions have a shelf life of 30 to 60 days if stored correctly so fingers crossed i would have preferred like spanish or white but those are always on sale the red ones i don't know why okay i wish there was more limit to this but only one per you know but this was 75 cents or whatever so you can, she can only get is, but a nice one. huge nice head of cauliflower so she's upset She's disappointed. I can feel it. I can feel the vibes. She's disappointed that she was only allowed one head of cauliflower. But the fact that this site has a limit on the amount that you can buy of bags of vegetables, she did say at the beginning that she bought the max of each amount that she was allowed. So I guess you're only allowed to buy like two bags of carrots, three bags of red onions, one head of cauliflower. Which makes me think that this website is maybe tailored towards people who are on the lower end of the salary scale. This is a site dedicated towards people who are maybe low income families. So that makes me think that the reason that they limit customers to say one head of cauliflower is because there's people like you, Chantel, bestie, who buy 60 pieces of individual produce for a two family household. A two family household that survives primarily on sodium, prayers and chicken nuggets but hey fuck the pause am i right because chantelle's just starving you guys she'll waste away if she doesn't have 60 pieces of individual produce i love cauliflower she loves cauliflower and all right we have here this was a really good sale. Yeah. Like it was like four dollars or something like that. For she looks like she's got the face of a smacked ass. And maybe if you were getting your ass smacked more in the bedroom, you wouldn't be so miserable. Two big things of natural honey. I have natural a little honey. bit of honey in my tea. Okay. You're not having. She's trying to steal the potato bread. She loves buns. I don't know why. Julia, you can't have it. Are you a carb lover? You're supposed to be a carnivore, you freak. And Julia trying to save Chantel from a diabetic coma by stealing the carbs. Thank you. Your sacrifice does not go unnoticed, Julia. We appreciate you in the field. Anyways, this is for a treat. This is not healthy at all. But I'm I gonna limit it. I thought to we weren't getting any more snacks or something like that. But the what spicy you? bulldog noodles. I love them so much. So I just got two packs. Look at that smile. That's it. This is a, such a good deal. All of this cheese, but it's basically the bur like the um, sliced cheese, processed cheese slices. But these are so good. Okay. They're the burger ones. Are they? They're gonna open and them. And you get like. Have a look all of this cheese so four packs great i'm so glad of almirai burger cheese cheese slices mm. which are good for Packs. like grilled cheese sandwiches toasted tomato sandwiches on whole wheat or sourdough bread or on meat you get all that and that was like on sale so yeah i think it was like close to five dollars i also got two packs of lean ground beef I'm going to be making Unlabeled a lot of recipes with mystery that. I haven't meat. had it in a while, so yeah, I was okay. craving it. <laughs> um, more beef here. Oh, yeah, we more. Let's see. Is it unlabeled? Beef cubes. It is. Unlabeled meat. That looks really My nice. My fave. 
doesn't look air it. sealed properly at all, but it's it. fine. Nice beef curry. We have some chicken breasts. Ch okay, great. That looks that looks sealed quite nicely. Glad. And we have a whole frozen chicken griller. She's got a whole chook. Chicken, a whole, a whole chicken chook to make like a roast chicken or a, you know I'll probably make try to make kabsa, which is one of my oh favorite my. dishes here. Oh, so the grand total was 71 Canadian dollars or 52 USD dollars. You might as well just have thrown that in the bin with the rotten carrots, eggplants, red onions, tomatoes, cauliflower and lemons. Because that's where it's all going to go anyways. Bye. Bye, 52 US dollars. Thanks so much. Thanks for your sacrifice. Bye. In this fucking economy. Yeah, so... But yeah, the Samyang noodles are oh, back very to the noodles. spicy. So I only eat one at a time anyway. Like, it's not like in Domi where it's not spicy and you can just eat like... I love how every food that she actually does enjoy gets a story. We get a story, a justification, a background, a origin <laughs> of the noodles. It's great. It's so fun. A bunch at a time. But one pack has 550 calories. This is the cheese one, and it's so spicy, but I love it. The flavor is so good. So this will be like a treat, like for real a treat. <laughs> so not an everyday thing. I used to eat like in Gomi, the instant noodles every day. And they're so I just rolled my eyes so hard, I could nearly see my brain. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Chantel? So high in sodium. Yeah. So, Yeah. I'm going to really control myself with that. I really try really hard to control. That's what the untreated 700 pound diabetic woman is good at. The, the food addict, <laughs> she thrives within controlled environments. But other than that, that's all the fruits and vegetables um, I got for this. That Kuwait all. has. She like took I all said, of them. There's none Salah left. and I are going to go to the actual like Jamia, which is what more do we need? store in Arabic. <laughs> This is an online Jamea, and we're going to go to uh -huh. the actual grocery store tomorrow. I made a whole list of things I need. I need... Like what? Some things, you know, to make the recipe. Like what? For the <laughs> what week. else have, is like, there? A week of meals um, written down. So there's some things I want Salah to try, like, that are, like... Oh, you know, Salah. Ugh. Like, Western. He's so picky. Like, Western recipe. You guys ever got a picky kid? Salah's just her picky son. So... <laughs> Something I haven't picky in everything but women, I guess. <laughs> Had in a while, you know, and I'm gonna make him some things. And Baba Ganoush and pita chips, yummy, yum, yum. Yummy, um, yum, yum. I wasn't in the mood to cook like when I did my last. You grocery don't look haul. like you're in the mood to. But live. now I am. Sorry. Can you hear the ice cream van outside? Would you believe it? It's currently mid-June and I'm in a fucking jumper and nearly put the heating on in the UK today. It's insane. The sun just decided, I'm not going to do a shift this summer for some reason. Uh, yeah, Salah, what did I say? Picky in everything but his women, I guess. I'm kind of in the mood. Like when I was writing down the recipes and like researching what I want to make, I'm like, yeah, I'm in the mood to cook again. Yeah, because it's, it's addict behavior. Anyways, grocery haul for you. The next haul will be in the grocery store I'm going to vlog in the store and show you guys what it's like and what I get and stuff like that. So I actually like the grocery stores here. I don't know. I like the vibe. I like, you the know, vibe. just the food and um, yeah, I'm excited to go. I haven't gone in a long time. I haven't the left the house in a long store. time. I like ordering online. It's like less of a hassle, but Sometimes I missed going into the store and getting to pick out the stuff myself and seeing what they have. And, and you know, surveying her hoard, enjoying the process and the ritualistic behaviours of addiction, surveying the food, touching it, feeling it, imagining her eating it. You know, seeing all the sale items they have and stuff like that. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. You're welcome. Um... Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Got miserable. Ugh. I think you'd be happier to see me. Uh, you're welcome. That was that was a, a task to get through. But thank you so much for having me, Chantel. And thank you for watching with me. I very much appreciate it. I did math. So.
yay me guess that's a non-scale victory for me so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have a pet you'd like to see at the end of the video i like to do a thing called pet corner where i showcase my viewers pets but it's fun we get to see our little fluffy friends i haven't had a pet corner in a while because i haven't been uploading all the content and it's fine all my details are down below if you'd like to drop me an email with said information about said pet come find me i've got all the links in the cafe down below but thank you so much for watching with me you've been you i've been milky and i'll see you guys in the next one bye